Hi and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning Videos. Pro Proprioceptive Neuromuscular Facilitation, also known as PNF stretching. Proprioceptive Neuromuscular Facilitation is an advanced stretching technique. It is also considered to be one of the most effective forms of flexibility training for increasing range of motion. There are a few different PNF techniques, but the most practical is the CRAG technique. Contract, relax, antagonist, contract. Key terms you should know before we start this section. Muscle spindles. These detect how far and how fast a muscle is being stretched and produce the stretch reflex. The Golgi tendon. These are activated when there is tension in a muscle. The role of the muscle spindles and the Golgi tendon organs in the PNF. In PNF, motor action has to be controlled in order for movement to be effective. There are several internal regulatory mechanisms that make this possible. Muscle spindles and Golgi tendon organs are type of proprioceptors. Hopefully you can remember these are sensory organs in the muscle tendons and joints in the body that measure movement. Muscle spindles. These are very sensitive proprioceptors that lie between the skeletal muscle fibers. They are often called stretch receptors as they provide information to the central nervous system about how fast and how far the muscle is being stretched. The central nervous system then sends an impulse back to the muscles telling it to contract, which triggers the stretch reflex. This reflex action that causes the muscle to contract to prevent overstretching reduces the risk of injury. Here's an example of a muscle stretching. As you can see from this diagram, it highlights the intrafusal fibers, the extrafusal fibers, and the sensory fibers. As you can see, as the muscle is relaxed and contract, they condense and move closer together. Golgi tendon organs. These are found between the muscle fiber and the tendon. They detect levels of tension in a muscle. When the muscle is contracted isometrically in a PNF, they sense the increase in muscle tension and send inhibitory signals to the brain which allow the antagonist muscle to relax and lengthen. This is also known as autogenic inhibitation. Here's a breakdown diagram of the Golgi tendon. As you can see, the muscle spindle is located in between the fibers and as discussed before, it is an advanced proprioceptor. This then further breaks down the Golgi tendon organ, highlighting the area within the muscle fiber. So the Golgi tendon would be here, it then breaks down to here, and then further breaks down into this. Key terms you should know. Isometric contraction, where there is tension in a muscle but no visible movement. Autogenic inhibitation, where there is a sudden relaxation of the muscle in response to high tension. The receptors involved in the process are, are Golgi tendon organs. PNF in practice. A practical example can be seen below. Here the individual performs a passive stretch with the help of a partner and extends the lead out until tension is felt. The stretch is detected by the muscle spindles. If the muscle is stretched too far, then the stretch reflex occurs. The individual then isometrically contracts the muscle for at least 10 seconds by pushing their leg against their partner, who supplies just enough resistance to hold the leg into a stationary position. Remember, Golgi tendon organs are sensitive to the tension developed in a muscle, and during an isometric contraction, they are active and, and inhibitory signals they send override the excitatory signals from the muscle spindles, therefore delay the stretch reflex. As the leg is lifted again, the Golgi tendon organs responsible for the antagonistic muscle relax, which means the leg stretches further. This process can be repeated until no more gains are possible. Practice questions. Pause the video and answer the following questions. The training that elite performers undertake may include proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation stretching. Explain the role of muscle spindles and Golgi tendon organs in the PNF stretching. Contraction of different types of muscle fibers involve the use of motor units. What do you understand by the term motor unit? How are motor units involved in the process of spatial simulation? And describe the characteristics of the main muscle fiber types by using marathon runners. 